What's up, guys? I'm Emerald Marie, and be sure to check us out on the web at realfansrealtalk.com. This is your African King's Come, Michael Blackson. You're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Get real with it, my son. Yeah, but it, you know, I was about to say, yeah, if you if you if you're even if if Washington even entertains that trade of Trent going in the division, they they would be asking for the Giants' first round pick. Yeah, so it's just like, nah, if they're they, gonna take they a second be, from yeah. everybody else, we're not about to give you our first. So, all right, here we go. The right. pick is in. Come on, come on, baby. We oh. need this right now. <laughs> don't do me like this. Come on, come on, baby. Don't don't mess this up. Please get them in. I'm pull, um, I know you got this. I'm, I'm, I'm just sitting back. I know he got this. I know he's going to make the right, right choice. He's going to do it. He's going he gonna to pick Simmons. He got him. He's going he to take Simmons right now with this pick right now. <sighs> Let's do it. It's the pressure of the draft, man. Damn it. Oh, my goodness. All right, it's, come it's on, man. Just tell thing. me. Just, it's a beautiful thing. Just tell me. Just tell me what it is. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, come on, man. They got to get to this pick. I, I can't take this. It's too nerve-wracking right now, man. We got a whole I'm, lot of I'm stuff. You, I'm looking at the top. The pick is in, but they ain't got him up on the screen just yet. They they got right to a minute when they decided to bring the pick in. Yeah. Well, at least we know they did draft somebody, so we know <laughs> it's not a trade. <laughs> right. Oh, my goodness. All right. We got – They're going to take much. Wills. They're going to take Wills. No, yeah. Tackle. They're going for the tackle, man. If they take Wills, I'm okay. And he, did, he was an Alabama guy, too. <sighs> so, you know, he got that connection. And then he was – you know, Get him in. Gettleman loves to build teams from the inside out. Yeah. He loves to secure the line. That's his thing. And then Joe I, I Judge got would, the connections I, to Alabama. I just think it would be a poor choice. You guys wasted a first – I don't want to say wasted, but you guys used the first-round pick on Will Hernandez as well. You yeah. can't keep giving away opportunities to get playmakers, cheap playmakers yeah. at that, because we know when you're on your rookie deal, that's a cheap contract. Let me make the pick, man. I didn't, come on, man. I built up a team like I did in Madden, and y'all will be two Bowl <laughs> champions this year. Man. Come on. This is crazy right now. All right, let's – come on, man. This is, this is too nerve-wracking, man. Listen, while, while we're waiting on the Giants to make that pick, let me just uh, really quick shout out the, uh, the sponsors. Big shout out to, uh, to, to Petro Home Services, Kmart. Uh, shout out to Soundview Liquors. Um, because, you know, all, all of you guys, you've been helping us out for the past couple of years, making sure the 2K event goes down. And we are going to get back to the finals once things open back up. You guys know everything is shut down right now because of the coronavirus. Um, but once everything opens back up, we're going to get back to it. And um, all right, let's go. Giants, what's up, man? Make me, make me happy. It's, it's, me, they've been stalling for quite some time. I here. know. I don't know what's going on right now. Make me a I think they traded man. the pick. I think they traded the pick. I think they're trading this pick. So, oh, wait, no, no, I'm no, calling no, it right selection. now. Hold on. I got to turn the volume up for y'all. With the fourth pick in the 2020 NFL draft, the New York Giants select Andrew Thomas, tackle, Georgia. <laughs> wow. He didn't even want to go to Andrew Thomas. He did not even want to go. Look, he wasn't even hyped like that. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So not only did y'all take O'Lyman, y'all didn't even take the top O'Lyman. Oh, we get him. We can't trust him. Get him in. <laughs> All right, well, let's move on to the next topic, guys. I, I don't even want to talk hold about Hold on, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're not moving on to the next topic. Not only did y'all take an O-lineman, y'all didn't even take the top O-lineman rated in the draft. Bruh. I, I mean, no. It doesn't make no damn sense what's going on right now. Let me see what, what they got. Y'all didn't, didn't even take the top old live. And the, listen, we're not ending the episode early, Trip, because I see what you're about to do. You're going to try to end no, the I'm episode No, I'm just going to, I'm about to end the meeting right now. <laughs> Yo, are you kidding me right now, man? Really? This was he, was he, well, he was like the third, the third best uh, tackle or what? Yeah, the third best tackle in the draft. Yeah. Well, you never know. <laughs> You never know. Right. Man, come on, guys. Yo, you know, and the thing that pisses me off even more is, I, I, is I'm, it's not even a situation like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if he, if, if Daniel Jones gets, you know, gets sacked, 
30 times this season. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say right now, guys. I'm just out of loss of words. I'm just disgusted by this. You didn't even go with my guy from Alabama. Jesus, man. Really? This is what, come on, fellas. I'm, shout out to the young brother, but I'm yeah, sorry, this is, man. This is, uh, this, is a, this is another bad pick by Gettleman. And again, this is, this is a perfect example of when your decision maker is out of touch with how the draft works. When they drafted Daniel Jones, yeah, put your mask said, on, cover your face up, man. You, you it just, was you're not, sad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eric. Go ahead. This pick had way more. No, no, this pick had way more value. And to take a guy who Mel Kuyper had as the fourth best lineman. Yeah. No, Kuyper had him as the fourth best lineman in the draft. You taking him as the first lineman off the board at number four? Uh, I don't. I just don't understand when, it. When, again, Isaiah Simmons, obviously, Trip. I know you wanted him. To me, Derrick Brown might be the second best player in this draft. Derrick Brown was still on the board. You could have showed up your defense even more with either one of those guys. I, I, I just, I, I don't get it, man. I, I really, I would, I would have. I would. You, you didn't even take been, the, 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 the best old. tackle in the draft. <laughs> I would have, I would have, I would have understood it more if he reached on one of the receivers and said, "Hey, we just gonna get a weapon." Bro, I, I just, I, I'm just so disappointed right now. This don't even make no damn sense. What's going on? Joe Judge would be the coach for two years before he gets fired. <laughs> Listen, man. With this type, with this type of drafting. Yeah. All right, guys. So canceling the rest All of the right, weekend's so. uh, draft coverage. <laughs> All right, so we're at number five. What's up? This tour? This is tour range right here? I think it's tour. Hopefully somebody's smart and, and, and takes the guy. I mean, they're showing the tour right now, so that, that might be it. I, if, I'm looking at him on the screen. To me, I, I think I'm most confused about the Dolphins. I don't know what they really want to do there. Uh, Brian Flores came in. He seems like he has a good handle of his locker room. But, I mean, they could go tour here. They may go Simmons or Brown here, um, just to strengthen again a, a defense that has a lot of holes. They may be interested in getting Jordan Love with their later first round pick. I don't know what the Dolphins really want to do. So sure, honestly, if I'm the Dolphins, I might take Simmons or, or or Brown with this pick, just because if anything, you know, I could trade back up if need be a couple right. of spots to get another right. quarterback, or one of those guys will will, will fall down anyway. Right, because I, I mean, mean, obviously, the Cardinals aren't taking a taking a quarterback. Right. So, and I don't. I mean, the Panthers may. I mean, the Jaguars may take a quarterback, but I don't you know, think they, they will. Yeah, because I think they, they got they got Minshew, uh, Minshew there, so I don't even think they will. So you might even still just luck up and have a quarterback fall to you. Yeah, I think if if Miami does not take a quarterback here. Um, whoever the Chargers decide on, because I do think the Chargers would take one. Um, yeah. One of these quarterbacks may fall because I don't think Carolina's taking a quarterback, not in the first round anyway. Come up and, and, and make a I play. Think, I don't think the Jaguars are taking a quarterback. Um, and then from there, it starts to get, it, it starts to get tricky. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about Herbert getting, getting picked here? Possibly. I mean, Herbert's, Herbert's numbers were comparable to Tua's last year. Um, obviously, Tua's injury puts well, him in this range here. He missed a couple of games, too, here. so that, that, that would made it a little bit more comparable. Right, right. But That's I don't know. The injury, the, the, injury, the injury brings him back. And they've done, they've done so much floating around, you know, with who, who they want. They, first, it was, they were, they, it was Tua. Then they were trying to trade, you know, with Cincinnati to put a number one pick that hurt love. So, honestly, I can't say what Miami's going to do. They saying the pick is in right now, so we're going we gonna to see. But, but they did have two right, on if the they, screen, so. if they were If they were so adamant about trading up to get Joe Burrow at number one, that would only lead me to believe that they're not confident into his health. Because yeah. for, for about see, a good they, month they weren't and able to see him. Right, see, but for about a good month and, right, for a good month and a half, we kind of knew two would be available at this range. So if you were trying your hardest to trade up, that means you weren't confident in taking Tua, and you're probably not too high on Justin Herbert either. Because, again, yeah. either one of those guys are here. You wouldn't even have to trade for one of those guys. So the fact that you're trying to trade up means you're not confident in either one of those quarterbacks. Well, there was a, a huge – I'm not going to say a huge drop, but there's a big drop between Burrow and a healthy Tua and then Love and then, you know, everybody else that that's kind of falls in 
after them anyway. Right. Obviously, we know Jake what the from, to Tua to Jacob exactly. Houston. Right. You know, so what I mean, we'll see, we'll see we'll see in a, in a couple no, of minutes just, what they do. I just, I to me, like I said, my thinking on it would be: if you're the Dolphins, you got three first round picks, and you're willing to, they were willing to give up all three first round picks to get up to number one. If you, as we both said, without the injuries, Tua and Joe Burrow would have been neck and neck for the number one pick. Yeah. If you were confident enough in Tua, and I'm sure, again, they've been doing their research on Tua. This, let's not pretend that the quarantine has slowed anything down. They were watching Tua for at least a good 18 months. Yeah. You know, they everyone was on, Tua was on, yeah, they did their due diligence. Every, Tua was on everyone's radar after that first national championship game. So they have more than enough information to determine, like, if he's our guy or not. Injury aside, they already knew. So the fact that they were trying to trade up leads me to believe that they weren't confident in either one of these guys right here that's available. They got it Tua. may it may have just been a smoke screen though, because they did they did go with Tua, so that just may have been the trickery to just to keep him on the draft board. Oh, we, we we don't want him, and then maybe somebody else will feel like they don't want him, you know, either. With the fifth pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Tua Tungavalawa, quarterback, Alabama. So, but he is he is going to Miami, you know he'll be he'll be right there he'll be uh you know South Beach and it up so, you know him and him and Wade gonna get cool now they got they gonna be chilling on Collins right now <laughs> sipping Kahlua and whatnot. Yep. But all I'm right. all for it, man. I th- I think this is actually the best thing for the Dolphins. I know it's high risk, but it's also a very high reward because if he can stay healthy, you know again. He's just as good, if not better, than, than than Joe Burrow. So, what do you do the first year? You you sit him out, let him let him heal, or you uh, you, or you let him play? I I, I, let, I let Ryan Fitzpatrick uh, keep going for now. Let him get comfortable. Let him you know get get stronger. Because again, you know he's still coming off the injury. We haven't seen him play again. So I bring him in slow. You got Ryan Fitzpatrick there. No one is expecting anything out of the Dolphins this season, and you may have just drafted your quarterback of the future, so let him sit back, let him watch, let him study, you know, get reps in with the, you know, with the, with the second string guys, and just watch Ryan Fitzpatrick out there for a season, unless, you know, Fitzpatrick gets hurt, and it's like in a situation where you got to put him in, you know, then go ahead, but I, I think you let him sit for, for at least a year and just study the game. I agree. I think you let him sit. Um, Worst case scenario, he sits out the whole year and comes back his second year. But guess what? We saw how that worked out for Patrick Mahomes. Even though he wasn't injured, he sat a whole year and then took the league by storm in his second year. Aaron Drew Rodgers. Sit. Aaron okay. Rodgers sat for a couple years. Let him sit. Let him get completely healthy. And it also gives you an extra year to develop the weapons around him as well. So and you, you lose again. You get a nice draft pick next year, too. Right. So yeah. you can – now with the remaining two picks – you could attack receiver. You could attack O line. Uh, you could already start to upgrade the other weapons with the future in mind, realizing that a year from now, two is going to be taking over the job. Yeah, and his brother's also nice too. He got a younger brother that's also nice, and is you know um, about to take over the reins of Alabama. So he might be seeing his brother uh, going pretty high in the draft in, in another might three years. About to be a family affair. <laughs> mm-hmm. that, that's that's going to be that paying Eli. <laughs> they 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 coming in. They listen, listen the, I, I never, I never feel comfortable when you Giants fans love to compare Eli to Peyton. I, I just never feel comfortable with that. You know, you, you guys love to throw that around. Really, listen. Really I mean, at the end of the day, but, brother got two Super Bowl rings and two Super Bowl MVPs. You gotta give him respect. That's 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 good for him. I mean, I just no, you you can't be throwing legends names around with guys that were just good. It's it's a listen, difference between a legend and somebody that was good. He's a he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, listen, that's for another show. That's for another show, and I don't know what I ain't say. I, I, ain't say, I ain't say he was gonna be first round, but he's definitely a Hall of Famer. I, I don't want to dilute the, the draft concept <laughs> with debating whether Eli Manning is a Hall of Fame quarterback. <laughs> I don't want to dilute it that way. Leave my, my two time Super Bowl champion alone. No, no, no. Listen, I don't, I don't, I can't knock it because he beat probably the greatest uh team we had ever seen the, the 18 and 0 Patriots. Twice. And he beat him twice. He also he he beat him twice. And then he also in the recent blog that I had put up when I talked about the best teams to never make the Super Bowl, I had the fifteen and one Packers, uh, who were the best team in football that year and set all types of offensive records. Um, 
they didn't even want a playoff game. And I'm sure you remember who beat them as well in a playoff game uh, that stopped Aaron Rodgers from a chance to go back to back. So in, in Lambeau, I, I give too. Him, I give him respect. In Lambeau. And he beat Brett Favre in Lambeau, too. So I, I man, definitely give him respect. We, we, are, we outside, man. We, are, we outside. Yeah. We, we outside. We outside. We outside. We outside, but we outside. You know what I'm saying? We, <laughs> I'm living the dream, baby. Yeah, That's yeah. all I got I right just, now. I just, just made that pick. I, I gotta, I gotta live in the past for a little while. I just, I just don't feel comfortable when we throw his name around with Peyton <laughs> as if they the same. If they not the same. They not the same. I just was talking about as far as the two brothers coming into the league. Okay, okay. All right. I didn't say he okay. was neck and neck with Peyton, but had Peyton not got his second ring, you know, I would have still been talking smack just because because Eli got got would have had two and he would have had one. <laughs> but I would just, okay. I would just threw that out. There. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it okay. means nothing. But I would have threw it out there. So I, would, I would have just, you know, okay. you know, you know, he like got another, got one more ring in him. But you know, he did, he did what he was oh, okay. supposed to do. You know, so, I mean, he didn't, so, he didn't right, win that second Super Bowl for them. The defense won it. But all right, whatever. I mean, he only, but he only took his team to three other Super Bowls as well. Like, come on. <laughs> and he did. Uh, so, but what, what do we, what do we think of the Chargers here at number six? Is this Justin Herbert? <laughs> Yeah, I, I think so. I, I think they they go quarterback. They gotta you gotta replace Philip Rivers at some point, you know. And and why not take one of the one of the top quarterbacks in this draft? I think I they think might so. go up to your boy Simmons, man. You know what? That's man. actually a possibility too, man. Listen. The Giants just threw everything off, man. But it's nonsense. Man, listen, it's if just they dead. add Simmons, if they add Simmons to go with Bosa, to go with uh, Ingram, to go with Derwin James. Yeah. That's a really good defense, man. Yeah. You know what? That's actually a possibility as well. And they, yeah, that's going to be crazy because then you're going to see now, a lot of they quarterbacks could, They could dropping. also go Derek Brown, too. I think they need help because I don't – I don't. I got to double yeah. check. I'm not sure if they still got Brandon Meebane, so they may need a, new, a nose tackle as well. Well, he is he's, he's, he's the best tackle on the – defensive tackle on the board there. So, yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong with either one. If they take, if they take uh, Love – you know they they need a quarterback of the future. You take Simmons or or Brown, two of the two out of the top three defensive players in this draft, and they're both game changers. You can't go wrong either way. Right. So uh, we'll, we'll 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 see where they're going in a second. I do want to get to uh, while we're waiting on this uh, Chargers pick, Dak Prescott uh, still does not have a a new contract from the from the Cowboys. Uh, you know they. I don't know what's going on out there in Dallas, but uh, they definitely need to, to to get this thing taken care of with Dak Prescott. Whatever you're going to do, you got to do it in ASAP and, and start to get things in order. The only thing that's, you know, the saving grace is, you know, the coronavirus has everything shut down. So everything is a little bit moving a little bit slower, but you got to get that situation handled if you're the Cowboys. They do. Um they put themselves in a tough position. Uh, we've been going back and forth about Dak all year. To pay Dak that amount of money that he's looking for after you just pay Zeke and when you're about to pay Amari Cooper, you really handicap yourself moving forward. And we're already starting to see the results of that because they lost Byron Jones in free agency because they can't afford to keep him. Yeah. And, and you know what? So I don't think Dak is worth $40 million. However, you know – I'm not mad at him for asking for $40 million, especially, you know, everybody that's seen the, 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 the last dance, the first two episodes at this point, you know, that, that, that Scotty Pippen, Suge Knight contract, death row contract that Scotty signed. So I ain't even mad at him. You go get as much money as you can because it's, it's football. And, you know, when they don't need you, they can cut you and you'll lose all of that money that, that, you know, that you were contracted, that you had on your contract. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm with I'm with it all. Go get all of that all of that money. And, and for all of you cats, the Skip Baylesses of the world that that want to tell Dak, oh, you should go out there and take less money and, and help the team. Knock it off. Knock it off. Stop 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 parking watching. Don't be telling trying, trying to tell young brothers <laughs> that they should take less money so your team could get an extra player too. I'm not trying to hear that. You go get as much money as you can. This is football. It's ain't baseball. Where you got the crazy contracts, the same basketball where, where, where that money is guaranteed. This is football, and one, you know, the, the chance of, of injury is, is higher than probably any sport. I mean, outside of you know boxing, just you know, because all of the, the headshots. But you got you got to get that money while you can. I'm sorry. 
I agree. Um, I would never tell somebody they should take less money. He plays the premier position in the game. Um, and if you want a top-notch quarterback, you got to pay for a top-notch quarterback. So I think Dallas, you know, like I said, they, they hurt themselves. You know, they gave up a first-round pick for Amari, and now they have to pay Amari. Um, they kind of dragged out the situation with Dak. They could have resolved it last year. They didn't. So now you got to pay the premium if you want to keep him. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But do you think he should be paid what um the be the highest paid uh, quarterback right now? No, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not the best quarterback in football by far. But it just you know when that contract comes up, that's just how it goes. You you know, especially when you're looking at Jared Goff, just got all this money. Carson Wentz got a contract. You know, so when it's your time to come up, you you got you got to go for the gusto. I mean, at the end of the day, they need Dak Prescott. You know, I mean, unless 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 they're gonna look into bringing in Cam Newton, you know, but there's there's no there's nobody else at this point that's going to help the Cowboys at that quarterback position outside of like, again maybe Cam Newton, who you could probably get for a little bit cheaper than you would Dak. But I mean, for as far as with the age and the talent and what he's been able to do for that for that franchise, they're gonna have to pay him. I don't I don't I don't see Cam. I mean, excuse me, I don't see. Uh, Dak taking that pay cut and, and giving them the deal that they want. So I think it's going to be the other way around. Jerry's going to have to come with that money. He got it. If you if you Jerry Jones, how much you giving him? You got you might um, it might be what he's asking for because yeah he, he Jerry Jones in a tough spot. Um, listen, the highest paid is only a, is, is a short term title. Uh, it yeah. really depends as trips at who whoever's up for their contract at the time. Um, yeah. So that doesn't really define that you're the best quarterback. It just means that your contract came up at the time when you were able to ask whatever the market rate was at that time. But Jerry Jones is screwed, and I, and I keep going back to the trade for Amari Cooper. And I know that the trade has worked out well for them, but the fact that they gave up a first-round pick for Amari forced them to pay Amari Cooper. And so now you find yourself in a situation where your quarterback has just seen his running back get paid, he saw your top defensive lineman get paid. He's seeing a receiver get paid. And guess who? Now it's my turn to get paid. And these are the, the, the problems that you create for yourself when you start giving up valuable assets for big name guys. You had yep. to pay Amari. You had to pay Dak. I mean, you had to pay Zeke. You had to pay Lawrence on the line. So now you got to pay Dak. Yeah, you, you, you're absolutely right. <laughs> you're in a tough spot, but you got to do it. Yeah. You don't want you don't want to lose your franchise quarterback because – He's not taking no pay cuts. Like you said, he, I just saw my counterparts on the offensive end of the football. I'm not, I'm not even worried about uh, DeMarcus Lawrence right now, but I just saw Zeke get paid a boatload of money. Amari Cooper just got a boatload of money. Guess what? If I'm not here, this thing don't work either. Same way as, you know, before Amari Cooper got there, they were struggling a lot. He got there, made a difference. Zeke is a difference maker, but Dak is also a defense a difference maker. Excuse me, on that team, and you need all of those guys in order to make this thing work. So show me the money. In, in the words of my man, uh, was Rod Tidwell, show me yep. the money. And he understands that Jerry is so desperate to make a deep playoff run and possible Super Bowl run that Jerry's going to pay whatever the price tag is at this point. Jerry could try to pretend he's going to drive a hard bargain and I'm going to negotiate this thing, but. At the end of the day, Jerry knows there's no way they can go into next season without Dak Prescott secured for the next four to five seasons. They've got to secure that in order yeah. for everything to go smooth. Exactly. And the most important position, too. Absolutely. It's the, it's the premier position, so you got to pay top dollar. You can't, you know, shortchange it. Now, I've been on record as saying that if I was Jerry, and I said this last year, I would explore all options available if – Again, we threw out his name earlier. If Cam Newton is willing to come to the Cowboys for two years at forty million dollars, I might be willing to let Cam come run the show. Yeah. <laughs> and, and as opposed to paying Dak for the next five years, because Dak has yet to show us that he can win a big game. Yeah, and 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 a healthy Cam is an MVP. Right. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, I might you sneak in you're telling me. That. Let, let's be honest. You're telling me that. Andy Dalton can't come in and do the same thing that Dak Prescott been doing? No, I'm sure he, he could with that offensive line protecting him. Yeah. I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure he could. Right. So that's that's my point. If I'm if I'm gonna pay a guy forty million dollars, and and mind you, your success is contingent on 
Zeke playing well and Amari Cooper playing well because when you didn't have those guys, you didn't play well. Yeah. Right? When Zeke was suspended, Dak struggled. Before they got Amari Cooper, Dak was struggling. Right? So if you're telling me I got to pay you $40 million to get the ball to these guys that I'm paying top dollar to, why wouldn't I pay another guy $20 million to do the same thing? Yeah. Yeah, Listen, (laughs) you're absolutely right. Um, But, again, I, I do think Jerry gets it together. One thing about Jerry Jones, he ain't no fool. He understands that this is his quarterback of the future. You're going to have to pay him. It will get done eventually. Uh, we got the Panthers on on the clock right now. Who, who do you guys think the Panthers go with at this point now? Because now, again, you still got you still got uh, Brown available and you still – and uh, Simmons are yeah. both available right now. So who do you think the Panthers go with? Yeah. Uh, well, I think probably Simmons. Most likely Simmons. They got to replace that that uh the loss they took with uh yeah yeah Giggly. yeah um Simmons makes sense they they drafted Brian Burns from uh Florida State last year so that would give him another athletic linebacker kind of do it all guy it would be a good pairing um originally I thought Derrick Brown was the fit here for them uh but I agree I think I would go Simmons here and kind of like I said give you that young tandem similar to. Not only Keekly, but having uh, Tommy Davis, who was the other uh, linebacker that they kind of had the dynamic duo there for a lot of years. Now you could do it with Burns and Simmons. How, how, they would, go, they, they, how would they do they on Brown? Do they need a wide receiver? Yeah, they, they, they still need, need help receivers. on offense. <laughs> yeah, they, they've needed wide receivers since Steve Smith left. But um, they've invested so much money in Christian McCaffrey. Everything's going to run through McCaffrey. And so yeah. I, I highly doubt that they would invest this pick in anything other than a defensive player. The second round, they may look to add a receiver. But right now, I think this is all defense. Yeah, they, they've officially gone with Derrick Brown. So they want to show up that, that that defensive line. And you can't go wrong with the best defensive tackle in this draft. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and uh, just uh, Justin Herbert went to the Chargers. We didn't, we didn't mention that. Right. But the Chargers did take Justin Herbert. Now that uh, Derek Brown this is, is my off favorite the board, play in the draft, Derek Brown? Uh, Derek Brown. This is my favorite play in the first round, Derek Brown. I like him a lot. Um, he has, I think, he has a little bit of Warren Sapp in him. This yeah. kid can just absolutely dominate. He can absolutely dominate. It's not a sexy position, but I said the same thing last year too, Nesta. When you guys grabbed him, I thought Ed Oliver. He was my favorite guy in the draft last year. Yeah. I really. These are the type of guys that change your defense because when you have that nose tackle that requires a double team and sometimes triple team, you start yeah. to see the other parts of your defense shine. And this guy, he's going to do that for Carolina. He's going to dominate the interior of offensive lines. Simmons is going to go to the Cardinals now because um, I mean they, they're short well, up think, now. They I got think they, Wills. Oh, you know what? They, maybe they might take a line uh, offensive tackle as well. Actually, think, yeah. I think Wills because they, they their skill positions are really set. Um, now that they got, you got DeAndre, DeAndre Hopkins, they, <laughs> they got uh, they up. got Kenyon Drake from Miami last year. They mm-hmm. they're pretty good at skill positions. I think they'll try to shore up the line a little bit and give um, Kyler Murray a little bit of protection. I, I can see Wills going to the Cardinals. Uh, well, yeah, they 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 picture me coming up in a second. Either way. Uh, you can you cannot go wrong. Um, there are a couple of defensive free agents out there, a couple of big names that haven't been signed yet. Probably the biggest name is the guy that was just compared to uh, Jadavion, uh, uh, compared to Chase Young, which is compared to Jadavion Clowney. Where do you guys think Clowney ends up? I know he was asking for twenty million. They said he's dropped his price to about seventeen, eighteen million at this point. Does he go down a little bit lower if, if another week or two goes past and he has a sign? But uh, where do you think he goes and who's the best fit? I think he signs back with the, with the Seahawks. I think they're going to work something out. I think that's what's going to happen. Well, that would be big for the Seahawks if, if they do because, again, we just talked about them being the third best team in the NFC. And if you lose a guy like Clowney, stock drops a little bit because he's one of the top defensive players in, in this league right now. Yeah, I, I think um, – so the longer he waits, the, the more hurts his value. He'll either have to drop his annual salary demands. Like I said, he went from $20 million and now he's saying he's willing to do about $17 million. I think he'll have to do a little bit less than that. Um, or he's going to give up a lot of guaranteed money, one or the other. I don't think he'll get both. Um, 
Seattle looks like the favorite, but I've been on record as saying I think Buffalo is the best fit. You go to Buffalo, they need a pass rusher um, that he could solely focus on getting to the quarterback uh, with yeah. a team that has pro bowlers at every level of that defense. You get a guy like Clowney who can just apply the pressure and it's lights out for everybody Dude, else. In the if, they bring, if they bring Clowney uh, in, into Buffalo, shoot. I don't know. Even if, even if the Patriots do sign Cam, I might still go with the Bills <laughs> to win that division. Now that they got, I, I they got I, Stephon I, Diggs too. Yeah, I think you add a guy like him that it changes the dynamic of that defense because we saw it last year. Linebacker play was good. Secondary is really good. They the top sack guy last year was right around somewhere um, about I think ten and a half, eleven sacks. Nessa, you would know better than I would on that. Yeah, but like, yeah. I yeah. think you you bring in a guy like Clowney who has the potential to get you double digit sacks. It changes everything. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Uh huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real